Guys and welcome back. Um, thought I'd do a a gift episode. I nearly forgot what it was called. That um, I sent some stuff to a uh, mother we a while back before I um, totally went and had to have surgery and stuff. But he's back. He's well and he's he's actually better than ever, <laughs> um, which is really really good. I'm glad he's back. Um, he sent me some stuff <laughs> and stuff that I didn't actually <laughs> you know it, it's like wow basically it's the nicest thing ever I mean when I opened the package the first package was just like whoa <laughs> but I'll I'll show you first what you do kind of that was me rattling a ball. <laughs> but, um, I should have actually plugged in and stuff in. But anyway, the first thing, it's kind of a bit dusty. I'm so, yeah. But anyway, the first thing, when I opened the package, I seen this controller. I had this controller before, but due to me being ill I kind of uh, up chucked all over it <laughs> and when I opened the package and seen this I was like oh my god <laughs> I mean this is one of my favourite PS3 controllers mainly due to it being like the 360 controller I don't, the PlayStation controller is kind of small and this is kind of perfect for my hands and stuff and yeah it, it's actually way better than my mind that I had I mean when I had it I had so many uh, problems when you moved and stuff it didn't really pick it up it wasn't really that responsive where this is like a hundred times better than mine it works beautifully perfectly and the airflow on it is way more cooler as well so I think the one what I actually got was defective when I actually got one. I'm trying to plug it back into my PS3 right now. Cause I wanna I wanna show you that it does actually light up. Cause it has like these blue trimmings and stuff. And it actually has LED there we go. As LEDs. Which is awesome. And if you press which is controlled by this you turn it on and off. And it has if you can hear that, there's two speed settings, soft and hard, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I was so shocked and I really appreciate it, I mean, awesome. <laughs> if you can hear random screaming, it's like children playing outside and stuff. Um. Yeah, so that was like kind of a shock to see that, and he comes my dog, clattering around my floor. <laughs> Hello. And yeah, next package, which is weird because that one wasn't wrapped. So when I opened it, I was like, "Whoa, these were wrapped." So, oh yeah, well going to them ones. He also got me the manual for um, Twilight Princess because when I got mine. Well, when I got mine, I bought it from CEX, they could be the wrong with this, sent it back, supposed to refund me, never refunded me. So I ended up paying for two copies. So I have a case and the disc and Cody, mother we decided to get me the manual, which I knew he was going to get me it because he was saying, oh, I'm going to get you the manual and stuff. And I was like, no, let me just close this across. And I was like, no, you don't have to do that. Don't do that. And he's like, I'm going to get you anywhere. So he got me. <laughs> so he didn't have to get me, but he did anyway. I mean, that's the thing with uh, some people. You tell them not to get your stuff to get it anywhere. <laughs> you don't have to, but I appreciate it nonetheless. 
And next next games, these were these were also like these were wrapped, uh, so I didn't have a clue. I'll start off with the three little games I have here, and these these were wrapped. I was thinking, what what is this? What have you got me? Like, constantly saying that because I did un unbox them all in handout, and the first one is Kirby's Block Ball. So, we'll be playing that sometime. And the classic, Tetris. Now, I I had this, and I kind of got rid of it ages ago. And it's one of those games that, you know, it's kind of addictive fun, and you want to get it back, and I never ever did. <laughs> and it's awesome now that I actually own it. Again, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that as well, Cody. Um, next one is... The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now that's that's pretty awesome because I really really like Link's Awakening. And to top it all off, he sent me this was wrapped individually. And I was like, hmm it's a kind of Yeah, I didn't know what it was, but I was thinking, hmm <laughs> And it is a fully boxed and complete Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color, obviously. <laughs> I mean, wow. Wow. I mean, the box is in awesome condition. It is, also has, has everything. I mean, it's boxing complete, which is, uh, wow, you know? <laughs> So obviously the manual, which is pretty awesome. Nintendo repairs, <laughs> and the cartridge, which I will go to say this: this is, I like our, uh, I like their cartridge better than ours. Our cartridge was like black with a horrible black label and stuff. But yeah, I mean, get that boxing complete. And I, I'm, I'm a, I love Zelda. I mean, it's probably my third or fourth favourite game series. Because my first is Metal Gear. And my... I think my dog's asleep snoring. I mean... My first is Metal Gear, my second is Final Fantasy, and probably third, Zelda or Resident Evil. But I mean, that's... That's amazing. I mean, that's awesome. Now, he told me to open this one last. And basically, I had it facing that way. And just by that line, I could tell what it was. And if you, if he could have seen my eyes at the time, because you can't really see because of the, how dark these are. I, I actually teared up. I actually seriously started crying. I mean, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done. I mean, wow. <laughs> and this is Metal Gear Solid 4 Limited Edition. I mean, wow. I was just like, when I opened it, I seen that little bit. Yeah, that little bit because you know, with me being a massive Metal Gear fan, I kind of know the boxes and stuff. And I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I actually, I made it in a nasty way, but I was like, you sob, <laughs> because I mean, you don't have to do this stuff. I mean, it's really nice. I really appreciate it, but damn, man, <laughs> you know, this was like, holy shit, <laughs> just like, what, <laughs> but yeah, Metal Gear Solid, limited edition, US, and that is, this is fantastic, I mean, obviously the top bit, off or so, then you get, 
inside you get the uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 obviously then you obviously the manual on disc I mean this I'm not not really keen on the front because you know all the and stuff <laughs> but the back is really 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 nice it's completely different and it actually goes to 1080p which is awesome I mean ours only goes to uh, 720p which at the back of our case and it goes to 1080p so that's really really awesome and also with the blue as well I mean this is awesome get a little uh, in there with the track listings because you get not only do you get a blu-ray to watch you also get the official soundtrack which is really 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 fantastic Oop, kind of didn't put the internet back in I mean just wow you know I and mean, just going back to it it's built a whole new memory of how how generous the gaming community actually is and that is why with her being annoying doing noises <laughs> but um i mean i'm just so shocked i mean you didn't have to and thank you so so much for all the stuff that you got on me anyway that's it for now guys and keep being awesome Eat bacon and play Metal Gear. Goodbye. And thanks for the week, Cody. You're the best friend ever.